Welcome to the Fruitland Park Library's Community Spotlight. Today we're here with Jenna Sullivan and she is the president of the Lady Lakes Kiwanis Club. And thank you so much for coming today and telling us about your club. Um, I read the club was chartered on April 11, 1981 and your motto is serving the children of the world, which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me a little bit about your organization? Sure. So as you said, we um, were chartered in 1981 and we serve the Lady Lake, um, but we also serve the surrounding communities, Fruitland Park, Wildwood, um, even parts of Leesburg. Um, we are just trying to nurture better leaders of the world. Um, right now we have 27 active members and we are looking to grow. So um, we are actively looking for new members and other ways to be able to get into the community. Okay. All right. And I know you have a lot of different youth programs. Can you tell me about them and what schools that receive the help and, and what does the Kiwanis hope to install in our children? So there's a couple of different, um, different things that we're doing in the schools. Um, so we have different versions or different um, classes, if you will, for each school, elementary, middle, um, high school, and college. So we start with the K-Kids program in the, in the elementary school. Um, our goal is to try to get them into being in, um, in a service organization, get them started at a young age and being involved in their community. Um, so K-Kids is what we do for the elementary school. Right now we have one in the Villages Elementary um, at Lady Leak. And then we have the Builders Club, which is the middle school. Um, and we have one in the Villages Charter School right now. Um, and that, again, is middle schoolers that we're trying to get involved into the community. High school is the key club. Currently we have the Charter School as well as South Sumter High School. Um, I know there was one in Wildwood. I don't believe there is right now, but hopefully we'll be back in that high school as well. Um, and then we also do Circle K, which is for college-age kids um, over at Lake Sumter. And so that's us um, pouring into children and helping them to become citizens in their own community, helping them to try to um, give back as much as possible. In addition to those programs that we sponsor, we also go into the schools and do a couple of other programs, which is RIF, Reading is Fundamental. Mm -hmm. um, so we go into uh, Fruitland Park Elementary, we go into uh, Lady Lake, I'm sorry, the Villages um, Elementary, as well as the Charter School and the Wildwood um, Elementary School. And basically that program allows us to give a child, um, every child, their own book. Um, didn't know before I got into Kiwanis that that there's a lot of kids out there that don't have their own books to take home. They have to rely on their media center and smaller ones don't even get to take those home. So we really push that um, reading is fundamental or reading is fun as we say it in their schools. Yeah. And then we have the bug program which is big bringing up grades. So every quarter um, or semesters they bring up their grades, they get a little certificate that congratulates them for doing so. Um, and then we do other programs that are outside of the school, but for kids from the schools. Um, one that we have coming up actually is the Shop with a Cop. Um, oh. And so we partner with the um, Lady Lake um, Police Department and they will take um, kids from the Villages Elementary School and they'll go over to the, to the Walmart this year and we'll help them do some Christmas shopping. Do some Christmas shopping. Yes. I know they do a whole lot. They help here at the library all the time. Kiwanis is always of Lady Lake, helps the Fruitlawn Park Library all the time. They help us during Love Week. They help us during back to school bashes. So they're they're, they're really active in our community and help us a lot. Um, okay, and you guys have scholarships. Can you tell me a little bit about your scholarships and how that works? So we do have scholarships that we offer to high schoolers that are going on to college. Um, there is an application process. We do have a committee, and so it's usually for our key clubbers, um, and so they will fill out applications, um, and they usually write an essay telling us what they're planning on doing. The committee will sit down and they will review those applications, and then they award them accordingly after that. Oh, well, that's so cool. Okay, okay, and so when and where are your meetings held at? So we meet every Thursday, um, well, actually it's the first, third, and fourth Thursday of every month is our regular club meetings. We do meet at the Lady Lake um, Community Building. On the second Thursday, that's our board meeting, um, but they are all open to members um, or non-members. And that's at 237 West Guava Street there in Lady Lake, correct? That is correct. Okay. All right, and, and what happens at your meetings? What do you guys do at your meetings? So typically we have a guest speaker come in, somebody who is from the community um, that will, you know, offers a service usually that we would find beneficial to other community members or even to our own members. 
um, and they will speak for about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 after questions, um, and then we conduct regular business. We are then at that point looking to see what events we have coming up, what new events may be coming, um, other ways we can insert ourselves into the community and try to help. And then our favorite part is we, con we conclude the meeting and we all go to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the favorite part, right? Yeah. Okay, and you guys do uh, bingo. So tell us about the bingo and what you do there and where it happens and everything. Okay, so bingo is our major fundraiser. The way that all of these programs get funded is that we have to raise the money um, to be able to do that. And so bingo is our major fundraiser. We host that on Sundays at the Paradise Rec Center, which is in, I guess it's Lady Lake area. Um, we do that every Sunday. It starts at noon. Um, it's open to the public, so anybody who would like to play bingo is welcome to come. They have all kinds of different packages and different ways that you can um, be involved. And then our volunteers are our Kiwanis members. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and if someone wants to join uh, the Lady Lakes Kiwanis group, who do they contact and how's the best way to find out information on your club? So a couple of different ways that you can do that. Um, we do have our um, phone number, which is 352-259-8584. Um, that goes to our secretary, Deb Tinsley, and she will um, get in touch with you, you know, if you leave her a message. We also can be contacted through our Facebook page, which is Kiwanis Club of Lady Lake, and then we also have our website, which is ladylakekiwanis.org. Um, any of those three ways work. Um, we always reach out and get back to people, and, you know, we invite them to our meeting um, and get to know them so they can get to know us and try to see if they're a good fit and we move on from there. Right. Well, I appreciate it, Jenna. This is the Kiwanis of Lady Lake has always helped us out here at the Fruitland Park Library. And like I said, you know, we always, they're one of the mainstays that we do use for help in our community with our children's reading programs. You've donated books for us to give to children. You've helped us during Love Week, provided food, helped with food, and helped any way you guys can. So we do appreciate the great partnership you have and the, all the help that you do here at the library too. Absolutely, we appreciate it as well. And um, you know, the children are our future. Um, we have to do everything we can to make sure that they realize that and pouring into them is about the best way to do it. So we appreciate your help as well. All right, thank you. Thank you.